Hello, everyone, friends from Hong Kong and around the world. Welcome to the sixth day and also the last day of Diana. We're grateful to be here with our beloved teacher, Mr. Kenze Nobu, learning and practicing Diana together. Let's welcome Mr. Kenze Nobu. Hello, everyone. Um, <clears throat> I hope um, people are not getting too bored. Actually, um, it would be good if you learn to love the boredom a bit. Uh, <clears throat> I think modern people just can't stand uh, getting bored. Anyway, Diana is um, a training that is taught uh, mainly uh, in, in the Buddhist tradition. But uh, as soon as you hear that this is something to do with Buddhism, then uh, somehow you will uh, label or expect something religious. From my opinion, this is probably the least religious, if not at all religious. Actually, I would say this is probably the most scientific, actually even beyond that, because it, you know, science is a lot to do with you know, uh, empiricism, and this is, I mean, if this is not empirical, then nothing can be more empirical. Now, I'm sure you all, I mean, those who are Buddhist, you know, so I'm not really addressing to, you know, the seasoned Buddhists. I'm addressing more to the people who are new to this. Buddhists are not looking uh, for aiming for heaven. Buddhists don't believe in God as the almighty decider. Buddhists believe that it is your mind that decides everything. So actually in Buddhism, you are your own boss. You are your own master. And whole teachings in Buddhism is really how to master that mastership. You know, today in the modern world, everybody talks about individual, you know, individualism. Follow your heart, follow your, you know, do whatever you want. But nobody knows how to do whatever we want. We only do what Mark Zuckerberg wants us to do, or Jeff Bezos wants you to do. So many other people who will actually dictate what you want. For 2,500 years, Buddhists have been teaching and practicing how to make yourself, your own master. 
I'm sure many of you know, you have heard that, oh, the Buddhists are looking for nirvana. What is nirvana? Nothing but sanity. When you are absolutely sane, you are liberated. You are in nirvana. Until you are subject of all these conditioning, you are not sane, you are insane. In the process, we become, uh, we become um, addictive to a lot of things, okay? See, we are talking about dhyana and um, we are hoping to sort of counter anxiety, for instance. But, um, you know, everybody try to counter anxiety, not just Buddhists. And, um, but the way we counter our anxiety, we end up uh, the method or the, the path that we apply to counter the anxiety end up become an addiction. I'm not talking about, you know, gross level of addiction like smoking or drinking. You know, we are all, whether you like it or not, we are all junky. Maybe you, you know, maybe we don't, you know, use, of course, maybe we don't use drugs to become, to qualify ourselves as junkie, but social media, you may be a social media junkie, newspaper junkie, window shopping junkie, or actually shopping junkie. And uh, all of this, what they do is it makes you, it makes you numb. So, it's a bit like you go to the shopping, let's say Ocean Park. No, not Ocean Park, what is it? I forgot. There's a big shopping mall in Tim Toy. I think something Ocean Center or something like that. Anyway, it doesn't matter. And you buy something because they kind of look good when they are in the shop, right? And then the packaging and the wrapping and then the whole experience of actually holding the shopping bag and then it, you know, there's a numbness there. And then by the time it reach home and by the time the product has come out from the shopping bag, then you are looking for another, another painkiller. Now, I'm not here discouraging you to do shopping. Do whatever you want. I'm only, ask, I'm only suggesting five minutes of just knowing, knowing your body, feeling, breathing, and your mind. And this simple knowing is not, is not just a painkiller. In fact, many times it may actually enhance the pain, but here you are actually coming face to face with the problem instead of deceiving yourself, camouflaging, numbing yourself. So some of you may be listening right now while you are walking in the landmark. And probably you are looking at that Louis Vuitton shop downstairs. I think I remember in the landmark. Just this time, not only looking at the Louis Vuitton, those, those, those product that is displayed there. This time, look at them without any prejudice. 
This time, for once, don't look at them. Uh, don't look at them as how the Louis Vuitton marketing people want you to look at. They want you to look at these things as how they want you to look at, look at them, but don't. I'm only asking for one or two minutes, not so long. After that, then please go ahead and bow down to their marketing strategy for whole life, if you want. And not only look at them, look at the product, but look at this mind, this, this emotion that is looking at this sort of greenish, this product, this sort of, I don't know, the leather, the greenish, this um, LV kind, you know, just look at your emotion that is looking at them. Because what we need to achieve is achieve the state of sanity. And this can be done without using too many complicated tools. Simply watching yourself. Okay, so let us do this, especially for those who are at home. If you want, please, let's start sitting five minutes. And today I'm going to guide as you sit. Okay, so let's start. Oh, Watch your body. Watch the whole unit. It may be very vague, but it's okay. And now scan your body. Okay, now notice the breath, the air coming from your nostril. This means you are still alive. Observe your breath.
Now, there has to be a sensation, some sort of a feeling within your body. If you have, just what? Now, what's your thoughts? Sound that you hear? Memories. Plans, like appointment. Right after this. Okay, thank you. It's a little bit more than five minutes today. Please try this. I don't think it's costing you so much. And I'm very quite sure that this has a lot of benefit. And everyone, take care of yourself. Uh, <clears throat> you know, we always worry about our life. And then we, we will look back 10 years ago, 20 years ago, and we will always think that those were good days. 20 years from now on, I'm sure many of us will think that this, what we are having is a really, really good time. I think generally we human beings have always been like this. The world has become in one way, really, you know, degenerated. On the other hand, you know, I'm talking to you here. Such things doesn't exist just about 30 years ago. We can Anna, talk like this. And um, <clears throat> I think learning to appreciate what's, what we have right now. I know Basically. you have heard, I know you have heard this millions of times, but you know, we don't really do it. Maybe try to do it a little bit. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you very much Rinpoche. Um, thank you so much, Rimoche. Um, So this uh, concludes um, the sixth day Diana session. Um, so to begin with, we are deeply grateful uh, to our teacher, Mr. Kenze Noble, uh, Kenze uh, for offering Diana to Hong Kong to the Hong Kong community, 
uh, during the, these current difficult times. We would like to request Mr. Noble, we would like to request Rinpoche to please come back and lead uh, more sessions for us, reminding us to touch base with sanity and helping us to train our minds so that it becomes more workable and malleable. Uh, we would also like to thank Diana Daly and Siddhartha's Intent Hong Kong for organizing the event. Most importantly, we would like to thank our friends from Hong Kong and from all over the world for joining us every day for the past six days. Uh, in the future, we will keep sharing uh, in, the, uh, in the Diana Daily community from uh, more modern and simple tips on how to practice uh, Diana. From time to time, we will also be offering guided Diana sessions led by different authentic teachers and every, everyday Diana practitioners who, just like you and me, are trying their best to practice Diana and train their minds despite the uncertainties or chaos life may bring. If you would like to see more tips on how to practice Diana, stay updated about the upcoming events, and meet others in the day. Diana Daily community, please follow Diana Daily on Facebook and Instagram. If you are in mainland China, please submit your email through the link in the chat box so that we can add you to our mailing list. If you have any questions, please email us at info at dianadaily.com. Uh, the email will also be present in the chat box. Thank you, everyone, again for being here. Thank you again, Mr. Kenzen Nobu. We hope to see you all again soon.